Hope you all the students are fine. Today, once again, I am your English teacher presenting on your TV screen along with the students of grade 5 and dealing with the one of the subject that is English. And today, I am standing in front of you with a different topic. Like in our previous classes, if you have remembered dear children, we just dealt with some of the part of grammar and some part of literature too. And continuing the same process, today we are going for one of the faculties related to English literature, which also comes under creative writing exercises that is developing the story. How do we develop story? How do we create the story that we will basically focus on in today's class? So dear children, with the name, the story, it fascinates every one of us. Either we like to read out the story or we like to represent or express the story or we try to describe that story which we have learned or sometimes we also get fascinated with listening the story from our elders or from any one of us. So today children, we will be exploring and we will be trying to create the story on our one. We will be the writer, story writer after this class today. Children, so under this topic, I will just like to provide you my plan. What are we going to do today in the whole session? In the beginning of the class, we will be going for discussing one of the sample story. Sample story in a sense that we will be trying to deal with one of the story. But that story will be created by our one getting the clues from the slide. Then after we will be going for guessing game following the same story, sample story from the first phase of our session. We will be trying to complete the story relating the different sentences. So after that, I also will provide you one assignment related to story writing exercise. Do you know children today in the morning? When I was coming to your classroom or when I was coming to you, I saw a dog. The dog was wounded. When I saw the dog for the first time, I was feeling strange. And basically, I was feeling scared too. Then after, when I just noticed the dog very carefully, then I saw that the dog was wounded and I felt very difficult to tolerate. I thought the dog was feeling very difficult and the pain was still there, I thought. So I went nearer to the dog. The dog did not do anything because it itself was suffering so that it could not hamper others. So when I went nearer to the dog, the dog at once started dropping out the tear from the eyes. Then I felt very strange. And then what I realized, do you know? I just realized that the emotions, the feelings of every living creatures are same. When we feel something difficult or when we are injured or wounded, then obviously we would cry. We would be seeking the help from our elders or the family members. At the same time, I also thought that the dog was also seeking the help from somebody else to get removed, pain removed. So that I took the dog to my home. Returning back to the home, I just took the dog. Actually, I was coming to your TV, but I returned back to home again and then I treated the dog, dressing the wounds, cleaning the wounds, and then I just 
handed over the dog to my father and again I came to you. See children, this is the descriptions. The event that had happened when I was there on the way. But children, don't you think that it sounded like the story? Yes. See, the children, sometimes when we narrate the incident where we are involved in, that also could be story. That also sounds good. And now, in the similar way, let me go to the another story. The title I have given with the Thirsty Crow. We'll be dealing with some more stories too. But after this, after my event, now I'm going to go for one tell related to a Thirsty Crow. It's not the new story to any one of you. The Thirsty Crow, the story has been listened by so many of us. It gives a very big lesson to every one of us. So today, children, I'll be providing you the clues. You can see in your TV screen too. The clues are here and then after we will discuss how the story can be made along with that clue. So the clues are here. A crow flying and roaming. These are some of the words given. We can relate them in the sentence to create the different situations. Roaming, flying, sky, thirsty, search, saw, water, pot, water pot. Bottom of the pots, search, pebbles, water, raise up, feels easy, drink, drink water, and remove thirst. So dear children, now let us try to create the story. The clues will still be there for you on the TV screen and your ears also should be alert enough. You have to listen. How can we create the story relating to the title A Thirsty Crow? Remember children, title I have been expressing to you because title is the most important part of the story. Before writing the story, we need to scroll in our mind what the title or what the title will be effective there. So now children, let us find out. Discussing with each other or discussing among each other with all the children, we will try to create the story. Now let us go at first. It's a crow. Obviously the title relates a crow. Now let me start the first sentence of the story. Generally the story can be started with once upon a time and then we will be very attracted towards listening it. But now to create also we have to be attentive. Once upon a time, there was a crow. Once upon a time, it was long years before or it was some months before or it was some days ago. It's once upon a time, there was a crow. Still, you have to go through the clues. Is it fine? Okay. Now, once upon a time, there was a crow. Now, the next sentence could be along with flying and roaming. One day, the crow was flying in the sky. Simply, the clue was there and we created the sentence relating with the first starting sentence. The crow was flying in the sky. And then, suddenly, when the crow was flying, it became thirsty. It wanted to drink water. It was in search of water. Now let's see the next clue. 
what could be the next sentence relating with the next clue that is search and water so when the crow became thirsty it started searching water it started searching water obviously when we are thirsty we don't like to eat anything we just like to drink water thirst is for seeking the water so now children the next one is there here and there the crow started searching the water here and there because the crow was thirsty then after that the next clue is given there saw water pot suddenly or at the same time when the crow was searching water here and there it saw a water pot somewhere else when the crow went nearer to the water pot there is the next clue it's bottom of the pot the water led at the bottom of the pot where the crow did not feel easy to drink with its beak then what the crow did after that the clue will be there to find out the next situation water was not easier for the crow to drink then what did the crow do okay the next clue mentioned here on your tv screen is sorts pebbles creating the tricks on mind the crow started sourcing the pebbles smaller stones we can say smaller stones were sourced by the crow then the next clue it's water raised up so when the pebbles were kept in the water pot then the water the level of water started raising up then relating to the next clue we can go feels easy to drink when the level of water after keeping the pebbles inside the water pot when the level of water raised up then the crow felt easier to drink from the water pot then when the crow drank water the thirst was removed now let me provide you the clear story we try to create the story according to the clues and then now we will try to create the story in total once upon a time there was a crow one day when the crow was flying or roaming here and there in the sky it started feeling thirsty it became thirsty then obviously when we are thirsty we need to drink water then the crow also started going here and there moving here and there to search water and at the same time somewhere else the crow found a water pot but when the crow went nearer to the water pot the crow found that it was not easier for the crow to drink the water so what the trick it had started is to collect the pebbles and then to keep the pebbles in the water pot so that the water level raised up then what the crow did it started searching the pebble slowly and gradually the water pot and the water level raised up then the crow felt easier to drink water and the crow removed its thirst so now after creating the story this is also the way of creating the story with the help of the clues and after creating the story then obviously we will be finding out the lessons what lessons did we get from the story itself the crow tried a lot it created something something new to remove the problem 
the current problem. So, we can find the lesson that is the first lesson we can do is try and try until you get success. We should not quit till the time if we try and if we get success that will be fine. Or the next one also we can get the lessons from this story is where there is a will there is a way. If we are willing to do something then obviously there will be the new way or we can create the next way to be happened or to get the things happened. So, this is also the way to create the story or to develop the story by the help of clues. Now, dear children, on the basis of this same, I will be providing you one game. We are going to play one game. The game is also known as guessing game. I will be giving you five different sentences related to the previous story that is the thirsty crow. Then you have to find out the sentence in order. I will be helping you and you will be helping you me to get the story takes place completely. If you are ready then let's start. Ok dear children this is the first sentence according to our story this is the first sentence a crow was flying in the sky. A crow was flying in the sky according to our story. The next sentence I would be providing you that is the crow became thirsty. The crow became thirsty. Remember children the sentence should be memorized because later on you have to guess which sentence should be there to complete the story. The crow became thirsty. The next one sentence is there in number 3. It is here the crow found a water pot. The crow found a water pot. Is it fine? Ok. Now, the next one we have to go through the fourth sentence. It is the fourth sentence. Here you have the crow dropped pebbles and water raised up. The crow dropped pebbles and water raised up. This is the fourth sentence according to the situations of the story. This is the fifth sentence. This is the crow drank water and removed thirst. So, now dear children, if you have remembered all those five sentences, please try to be ready to guess which sentence will be missed in the list given by me. Let us see. Ok, dear children, I have been going through the game where I will be pasting these all the sentences in descending order back to front. So, now you need to guess which sentence out of those all the five sentences which we have learned which one is missed. Now, let us see the next sentence. The children I have kept another sentence there that is related to the story, related to the story. Then now the next tone sentence I will be giving to you there. So, you just have to storm your brain which will be missed there. The next tone is here. I have kept here. It is a crow who was flying in the sky. Now let me go to the next one. It is here. Here I have the crow became thirsty. Now, do we have any sentence missed here? We were talking about five sentences and now we got four only. So, please try to create and please try to guess which sentence is missed there. Very simple clue. I will be providing that is the fourth sentence here we have missed. Now, try to 
think what is that fourth sentence which one sentence is missed here i'll be giving you the countdown till 10 so that i also will be helping you to find out the fourth sentence what Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, dear children. Obviously, that is the fourth sentence I have missed pasting here. So, the fourth sentence we have talked about from the story, it is all about the crow dropped pebbles and water raised up. Here it was. Okay, this is the completion of the story. You can read aloud to those all the five sentences so that you can complete the story. Doesn't matter however the stories are longer or shorter, but that should give the gist, that should give the meaning. And then the moral I have already given to you where there is a will, there is a way. Or the next one, try and try until you get success. So, dear children, I have given you three different points to be memorized while creating the story or while developing the story. The first two on, either we can read out the story, no problem, or we can create the story describing our events or we also can listen from others and transfer to others that is also called tells and the next one we can get the pictures to be created or we can see the pictures and we can create the story as well the children and then after very important point to be noted down in your notebook. That is, while creating the story, while developing the story, while reading the story and while telling the story. First and foremost thing is the title of it. The title is most. Then after that, writing the story, describing it. Generally, the story goes in past tense, which has happened before. Then, after that, every story gives the morals, lessons to us, the knowledge to us within certain words or sentences, which has to be realized by every student. So, dear children, in this way, we can create, we can develop the story and we can develop our creativity. So, in the title, I have mentioned here, developing story, creative writing. It is your creation, creating. If you create, it is your creativity, it is your creation. So, hope all the children will be trying to make the story by their own. They try to listen the story at home and they try to transform them to the next or they also try to read the story from the different references so that you can develop and you can create. Is it all right? Okay. So, this much for today before signing out from this class. I just want all the students to get your assignment for a day that is create the story. Either you have listened that should be readable not that haphazardly from one situation to next you can connect but it has to be readable. Create a readable story. The story can also be read from others, extracted from others, but written in your own language or you can just create in the same way. However, I had described the situations or the event, what had happened even to me, even with the dog. 
or you can just try to get the story from your mother or father and then you can jot down in your notebook. So this is your assignment. Hope in the next class we will be meeting together with the next topic. Thank you so much for today.